this short video I'm going to uh, take apart this low cost uh, digital multimeter. You can pick these sorts of multimeters up very cheaply from lots of places uh, on the internet and uh, they really don't cost uh, that much uh, at all, sort of 10, uh, 10 GB pounds, 10 dollars, 10 euros, well, whatever. And as you can see they've got the, uh, the plastic around here just to, to give it a little bit more protection and uh, on the back uh, you've got a, a stand so you can stand it up and you've got all the uh, uh, the various measurements here at the moment it's off but we can turn it on and you can see there that uh, uh, it's got a uh, the various ranges 600 volts and 200 volts AC um, you've got 600 220 volts 2 volts and 200 millivolts uh, maximum ranges and then the the ohms ranges here you can see if we switch that round uh, you've got 20 megs uh, right round to 200 ohms maximum for the, the range so a good number of ranges there and uh, a diode test uh, a transistor test there and uh, then the, the various current ranges there and what's more you've even got a, a backlight as well which uh, helps uh, if you're working in a, a dark condition but uh, so there's a lot a uh, lot going for it and just to uh, to mention as well you've got the two main connections there that you plug the uh, test leads into there common and uh, that one's for volts ohms and milliamps and the various other tests and that one's for the the high current uh, the 10 amp range so what i wanted to do was to have a look inside this just to see what is inside one of these really low end meters well first of all we need to take this off and in fact when I was looking at it earlier this the uh, this plastic rubber or rubberized plastic had gone all uh, rather sticky and that, that's only after a couple of uh, couple of years uh, and you can see all the discoloration that's that's come through there and uh, we've got three screws to to take apart here we've got this one off the battery compartment so we'll, we'll just take that out why do these things always take longer when you're, you're trying to do it on, on camera? Take the screw right out. Yeah, we'll get that out later. And then these other screws here, we'll pull those out. So there's three screws really one for the uh, battery compartment and then we can start you can see we can start to pull that apart so you've got the back here and the the internal workings here that there's the battery and you can see the the contacts there you've got a buzzer there you've got the main processing element there and uh, um, the LCD uh, display up there and somebody's put a, a capacitor onto to that one. So uh, let's just take the printed circuit board out. Four screws here. And that one is a little bit masked by the battery leads but uh, they've looped them through there so that they don't pull off which is always a good idea. But uh, just before we do pull the, this printed circuit board out, what we'll do is have a quick look at the, the circuit board. You can see really all it's got is the, uh, the surface mount resistors. They're all pretty small actually. So uh, even though we're put in, able to put in up to uh, 600 volts, you'll, you'll be placing them uh, across these relatively small resistors and and also there's not a huge amount of distance between some of the, the resistors and the pads so uh, one needs to be very careful when measuring high voltages with it so uh, just beware on that when you do it and if we pull this out you can just see we can remove that the battery comes out and the display comes off and to be honest all we've got are all the, the switch contacts on to, on the uh, the printed circuit board there the switch actually you can see all the switch contacts there and they make with different points on the 
printed circuit board. So actually what is a very simple printed circuit board provides a, a lot of functionality, but I think one needs to be a little bit wary when using it on, on very high voltages. It's also can, uh, interesting to see how the display is organized. You can see all the connections along there and they mate to this small unit here that then goes on to the actual liquid crystal display, which is the rather uh, transparent glass unit there. And that carries all the, um, the display elements. And the, this is, acts as the, the backlight so that you can get first of all the reflector and then also the, the backlight in there. So this is all really how the digital multimeter is made up. There's a lot in it and it's all quite interesting to take it down and see how it works. So if you need any more information head over to the description area for the video and there's more links and general information there for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Thank you.